All right, uh, so now we're going to basically do the same thing, only again under a different name, right? So it is it may be called a tangent plane, may be called a linear approximation, or it, it may be called a total differential, but essentially it is this, the same thing. And so what, what's the, this total differential, right? So the idea is that if we want to estimate the change in uh, our function f from the point ab to the point um, x, y, right? So in, in this case, x is a plus delta x and y is b plus delta y. Okay, so uh, basically if for this f of x, y, we substitute its linear approximation, then we get what is called the total differential. Okay, so here is our linear approximation. Uh, well, in the 1D case, we are going to have this equation that should be familiar to you from uh, the previous semester, right? So delta f is approximately equal to f prime of a times delta x. Um, now, in the one-dimensional case, it is just called the differential. Uh, in, in the high-dimensional case with two or more variables, it is called the total differential. But otherwise, it's just this, the same thing. And so uh, basically, um, so if instead of um, our um, f of, this is essentially f of x, y, right? So this is x, this, this is y. If instead of f of x, y, we are going to substitute its own linear approximation, then uh, basically, so a part of that linear approximation is going to be f of a, b, and it's going to, when we subtract f of a, b, it's going to cancel out. So, so, so here we subtract it, and it's going to cancel out. So the remaining part is just this. All right, so the change in the value of our function of two variables is going to be the partial derivative with respect to x times the change in x, plus the partial derivative with respect to y times the change in y. And that's basically it. So this is called the total differential. Uh, well, they denote it as dz or df. Okay, so the the thing about it is that the the total differential is the this expression, this exact expression, and the idea is that it approximately is equal to the change in the dependent variable. Okay, so but that's basically. It. Okay, so that's the total differential or ju just the differential of a function of two variables, right? So it is this expression again. And the idea here is that it approximately equal to the change in F. All right, so I, I hope it makes sense. Um, so let me just just do some some, some examples of this. Um, all right. Okay. Um, now, differential uh, differential I, I, I used to estimate error. So so we're going to to look at, at such an example. But before we do, uh, so let, let me go through some um, um, some kind of more specific numeric example first. So something like linear approximation. Right, so here we have um, an explicitly uh, given function. So, and we know that x changes from two to uh, two point zero five. Right? So, what does it mean? So, right, so it means that uh, our x is really two point zero five. Our a is two, and our delta x is zero point zero five. Okay, now, y changes from 3 to 2.96. So it means that our y is 2.96. Our b is 3, and the change in y is negative now, because now y is decreasing. It's going to be minus 0 0.04. All right, um, so how can we estimate uh, the change using the total differential? So the total differential, so df, is f differentiated with respect to x times delta x 
plus f differentiated with respect to y times delta y. So th this is the general formula. So in, in our case, fx is, so the derivative of f with respect to x is 3x plus, uh, sorry, 2x, of course, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, 2, 2x. 2x uh, plus 3y. Um, okay, so this is fx times delta x plus fy. fy is when we differentiate with respect to y, um, we'll get 3x minus 2y times delta y. Okay, so this is our total differential. Okay, so now we just need to substitute the actual value. So the, but remember that what we substitute in as x and y is not just x and y is, is, is really a and b, right? So a and b go in rather than x and y. Okay, so we, a little bit counterintuitive. And so, well, because the idea is that we want to substitute um, whole numbers rather than um, approximated numbers. Okay, so two. So now it means that our x is, is really two, and y is three, and same thing here. So this is really two, and this is really three. Okay, so two times two is four plus three times three nine. So four plus nine is thirteen times delta x is 0 0.05 plus uh, 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2. Okay, so this is just 0 times whatever. It doesn't even matter, but then let, let me just try what the delta y is really minus 0 0.04. Okay, and the answer is that this is... Um, 0 0.65 okay uh, now this is the estimated change so the actual change to find the actual change we would have to compute um, f of 2.05 and 2.96 and subtract f of 2.3 so it's not very hard. So let me just, just give you the, the answer, right? So this is um, this is the estimated change, the one that I just uh, um, de derived, and the actual change is is the, this number, right? So is is this number, right? So it is um, the actual change is a bit harder to compute, of course, but it's not really that. I mean. Um, so the approximated change is approximately equal to the actual change, right? So um, so df is approximately equal to, to delta f. So it is true that df is easier to calculate, but it's not really that easy because, you know, in order to calculate df, you have to calculate the partial derivatives first. And it kind of, it is some effort. Well, in order to calculate f, you, you just, you know, plug in the actual values type on your calcul calculator and get the answer. So I don't think that it, the, the, the fact that, uh, you know, DF is easier to calculate is that big of an, an, an uh, is that, that big of an advantage. So the true purpose of differentials is to estimate errors. And here, here is the, an example, right? So um, you, we are manufacturing cylindrical cans for some purpose, right? So um, here, here is such a can, right? So we, we so we have, our cylindrical can. Uh, it has a radius, so this is the radius. So in our case, the radius is three centimeters, so three centimeters. And the height. And in, in our case, the height is 15 centimeters, right? And um, I mean, when we manufacture the, the, these cans, there is a certain error, right? So the actual radius and height are off by a certain amount. So this is the um, imprecision 
in the radius and this is the imprecision in, in the height. Well, to be honest, it's, it's not, well, it is a bit, a bit large, right? So the height is supposed to, well, is allowed to be off by two millimeters, but okay, whatever. I mean, it's just, just an, just as an example. So the, the question is, uh, what is going to be the error in the volume of the can, the maximum error? And notice that here we can't really compute the, uh, the change in the volume of the can because we don't know the actual uh, the precise measurement so we only know the you know the the approximate measurement and we 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 know the estimates for the error okay but the idea is is, is, is still the same right so they um what we have here um is we know that the volume of our cylindrical can is pi r square h, right? Okay, um, so yeah, and we do know that r at the given point. I mean, so if if we think as uh, you know, r and h as a plus delta r and b plus delta h, I mean, only instead of x and y, I'm, I'm going to use r and h. So then the, the, this a is going to be, um, is given to be three centimeters. Uh, B is going to be 15 centimeters, right? Uh, delta r, so the, this is the change in the radius. So this is the error of, of the radius is 0 0.04, 0 0.04. And h delta h is, is given to be uh, zero point two. Right. So, what is the resulting kind of estimated change in the volume? So we can write the total differential. So d dv. So it's going to be uh, the derivative with respect to r times delta r plus the derivative with respect to h times delta h. Um, the derivative with respect to r is going to be is what is two pi r h times delta r plus the derivative of v with, with respect to h is pi r squared times delta h. Okay, so I guess we can factor out pi for a while. So pi times. Um, now I'm looking at this expression. So two times r, r is um, is three times h, a is h is fifteen, and times delta delta r, and delta r is zero point zero four plus okay pi r squared. So r so pi I factored out, r is three, so it is three squared is nine times delta h is 0 0.2. Well, basically that, that's it. Um, I guess we could compute it. So, I mean, if you want to simplify it without a calculator, so here is how you can do it. 3.15 is uh, 45 times two is 90. So this is 90 times 0 0.04 plus 9 times 0, 2. Uh, okay, so pi is still here. So I guess we can remove two zeros. So this is 9 times 0, 4, plus 9 times, times 0, 0.2. So which is, I guess we can take out 9, is 9 pi times 0, 0.6, which is really... 5.4 pi. Well, and notice that we are measuring the error in the volume. So the error in the volume should be measured in cubic centimeters. So this is the answer, um, 5.4 pi. I guess you could just try 5.4 times pi. So 16.97. So I guess approximately. 17 cubic 
centimeter. So, so what, what is important here is that uh, we can't, I mean, we, if according to your manufacturing process, you know that your the, the height is maybe off by a certain amount, by two millimeters, and the radius can be off by, again, a certain amount. So you, you know that in, in this case, the volume of the can may be off by 17 cubic centimeters. Right, and so um, I've just done it. So, and here is the solution, you know, the, the, the solution typed out for you. So you can re refer to it later. Okay, and uh, that was for two variables. For three variables, the situation is exactly the same. Uh, no change, it's just that uh, the total differential for three variables, it looks like this. So there is the derivative with respect to x times the change in x plus the derivative with respect to y times the change in y, plus the partial derivative with respect to z times the change in z. Okay, same thing for an n-variable function, and that's it about the total differential.